morning of mornings and since that's literally like 5 40 in the morning i had to schedule my uber it's like two minutes away i'm still trying to finish my breakfast and mentally i'm just not with it um but we're off to birmingham to the great photography show it's actually just called the photography show but like this is probably i want to say it's the biggest photography exhibition or event in the uk but i know it's one of the biggest um so i'm really excited about that i'm gonna go finish my breakfast and bring you guys along with me <laughs> goes on until Monday um, but it's pretty much a repeat every day they just have a few different talks and stuff um, I am going back to Newcastle tonight and I have society stuff on Monday so I'm really, really grateful that I was able to come for this day and see my artwork over there um, mother say hello 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 and we got brilliant what do you call Prosecco with Momo with oh wait Prosecco and orange juice is a mimosa isn't it have a mimosa mm -hmm. At the end of the day, perfect. See you guys later. Sure you'll be arriving in Newcastle where the service terminates. Good morning, beautiful people. So today it is a very, very sunny Monday morning. Um, today I'm wearing my Black Lives Matter um, necklace and my Africa pendant, both from Keone. Um, and probably one of my favourite t-shirts, my Lance t-shirt. And my boots, my signature boots. Um, so as you can see, the flat is kind of coming along. Right now, it's basically, I'm calling it the skeleton stage, where it's basically everything I've just transferred from my home, my office, and there's no real, like, like, there's nothing in it that makes it feel homely yet, like decor or a rug. That's something I really, really want to get. Today is the first day of my... I would say official presidency because I have technically been president since I was voted in but I see this as like my first outing engagement um it's the society's fair um so I'm gonna be at the table handing out flyers telling people about the society that kind of thing my bus is in a couple minutes so I've got to film this quick but I'm just so freaking excited because it's just like all these we've had a lot of messages come through about people who want to join the society a lot of international students who are able to come to the society and you know just be their most authentic selves because you know back home in the country it's either illegal or then out to their families even people in the United Kingdom as well it's just this amazing opportunity to be like what are you guys doing this year we finally have a well somewhat out of a pandemic and you know people can go out and about and have a good time hi everyone my name is dami and i'm the president of the lgbtq plus society and today is our freshers fair with the societies i'm going to show you guys how to get into the venue good morning beautiful people it is a beautiful tuesday and today is a very 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 exciting day um i have an interview with itv news in the northeast so i'm just like oh um this is what i'm wearing basically the same jewelry as yesterday and all black and rocking the pink hair i was gonna go with the cow hat but I think I might get my hair cut today and I just kind of want to like air it out and make it all big and I really think, you know, I use my hair as a way, to, um, as a way of my identity, I guess. So, um, yeah, but anyway, the interview today is going to be about coming out day and I'm going to be sharing my opinions on it and basically how, you know, important 
um, existing unapologetically as well, also talking about how no one is entitled to your coming out and how it is a very personal experience. Um, because I feel like when you come from a marginalised community, the world just expects you to just share everything and it's absolutely crazy. Let's start today as a good day. I've romanticised my life with a cup of coffee. I didn't get to read, but I watched TikToks. So that's going to be good enough for me. Um, but yeah let's go get it i've also got um lgbt 101 which is basically where um the new members and freshers and everyone can get to know each other it's basically going to be on zoom very long reason um but yeah and then i'm going to do some work at the cafe because i work so much better in cafes than i do at home i'm able to do like admin stuff at home but when it comes to like like nitty gritty stuff i really need a cafe but anyway i need to go to my neighbors because they have my parcel because i missed it while i was out yesterday and i really want to romanticize my life on the bus again so let's go bye guys <laughs> So today is Thursday? Friday actually, oh my god. And I have my induction and I'm actually running on time, but you know when you're like running on time and like two minutes will make the world of like bad difference. So I've got this very fluffy teddy bear jacket which I haven't worn in like over a year or two because of COVID. Um, all my stuff was put in storage so it was like, I didn't get to find it. I've got my shark t-shirt. I don't know which band this is, I just liked it because it looked cool. You know what it is with the combat boots. But anyway, we're running on good time, so let's go. So I'm having coffee, this is sugar, but I'm going to be putting a frick ton inside this morning.
Monday after uni. Bye guys. Bye bye bubble. I'll see you in a bit. Let's not going to pick on anyone. I'd quite like someone to hopefully volunteer and go first and shout out and just a few of us go around so we just... Hi, good morning. Um, hi, my name is Dami. Um, I'm the LGBTQ plus um, society president at Newcastle University. Um, I'm a combined honours student, and yeah, we're just really excited to be here today. I've been here doing my masters in ecology and evolutionary biology. Well, I'm... Oh crap, I'm going the wrong way. Crap me, it's Tuesday. I'm in the wrong classroom. Crap. I apologise. There's rain on my screen. The weather is insane. This country has angered the ancestors very, very much. But I'm not gonna lie, part of me is kind of like, we needed this rain in a more philosophical shit way. But no, this rain is no joke. It's madness! It's our little beach! Hello beautiful people, so I am currently recording an audio piece for Northern Pride. Um, it's going to be just basically a poetry piece and I have my best friend here um, to support me. She's just gone behind the wheel, I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> you can see her reflection. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be recording an audio piece. So let me just go onto WhatsApp and find it. Bo is listening to the rain. She enjoys the rain. This is our history, our story. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Gosh, how do people record audio books? Because this is literally a paragraph at most, like maybe three par three paragraphs. I'm thinking you've got to record a whole freaking book in a way that you you want it to sound nice. Like how the frick do you do that? Okay, so I didn't rude. I didn't find rude. Rude. Okay, you know what? I didn't find the microphone that I thought I had. I must have left it at home. But I did find biscuits from ikea this is the kaffir prep rep no kaffir rep cookies um there's so many of them these are so good like you don't even have any idea ikea makes good furniture and good food um and they don't expire until 2022 so i'm going to have those this is going to be my 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 gift these um, brownies that I haven't finished yet and the cookies and a nice cup of coffee I know it's late but I just freaking love the taste of coffee so we're gonna try again we're gonna get this I manifested it it's gonna happen so it turns out that my earphones were better than this and I didn't even do it from my laptop I did it from my phone I'm going to bed. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and have those things and I'm going to bed. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. It's always the simplest thing that works. But either way, I'm going to go treat myself now. 